in this servant, there is real humanity, true humanity, so that he can truly represent real sinners from Adam's fallen race. And yet there is such an equipping, such an upholding, that no matter how great the task, there is no possibility of failure. Another description we read here is, God says, he is my chosen one in whom I delight. Now, I love this because it does help us hold in balance the sovereign choices of God when we talk about salvation. It is easy to think of God's electing or choosing work in eternity past, which we read about in the New Testament, in particular, in some really wonderfully clear places. You might think of Ephesians 1 as an example. We read about God choosing to save sinners, setting his affections upon his enemies in eternity past. That's a great truth in the Bible, even if it's a bit difficult for us to understand. We, we bow before his right. He is good. The judge of the, all the earth will do good. His choices are good. And they astonish us. But the greater, the more astonishing choice is that God in eternity past turned and looked at, in a sense, the father looked at the son and says, I have chosen you as the champion of these fallen people. And the son embraced it. Behold my chosen one. This is the elect one in whom I delight. Now, is that just kind of an unnecessary additive? Is he just trying to make it clear? Is he emphasizing something? No, he's my chosen one, my really, really chosen one. No, he is my chosen one for the task appointed in eternity past to save a people, but he is also the one in whom the soul of the father delights. Jesus is the one for the job and Jesus is the the one for the father. Think of a work environment where you're having to do something with a team of people. And so um, the boss comes in and says to the employees, okay, we're going to have to put together this project. We need to do it. We need to do it well. Uh, I'm going to put Joe in charge. And there's this kind of rumble that passes through the crowd. Everyone says, oh, not Joe. And the boss stops the meeting and says, look, Sorry, Joe, but we gotta be honest. Nobody likes working with Joe. Joe's a jerk. But Joe is the guy for this job. It's his area of expertise. And we can't do it if Job doesn't lead it. So we're just gonna have to grin and bear it. It's God's way of saying in this passage that the son, the eternal son, united to our humanity in the person of Jesus Christ, he is the person for this task, the God man. But he is also the father's object of infinite delight. Well, thank you for watching the clip. We hope that it was helpful for you. If you want to hear the full audio of that podcast, you can find it on any of your favorite podcast apps.